So this is a live trade from the blog post on the 3rd of uh, April. And you can see here I've targeted up there. You can see the move has just barely started. So we're looking to do that double top up there today. And uh, we'll just see what happens here. Again, we do have room, right? So we're looking to come up here to 191.62 right there. Right? And uh, so 191.62. And we've got plenty of room. We've got 60 pips there, all right? So uh, I was hoping for a pullback down in here, but we didn't get much of one in here. <laughs> so we do have a trade up here. It's not as good as it would have been down here. This would have been really nice if it pulled back there, trade one and trade two. That would have been sweet. But now we don't have that. So now we've got trade one here and trade two here. All right, so you can see we still got a snowman. All right, and we have 55 pips up here. All right, so we would have had about 90 here. So that's pretty sweet. So we need a break hook and go to the 1,000, and we'll do this second part over here. All right. So uh, ATR on the pound yen is 120 pips. So uh, there's about 60. It's about half done right now. So there you go. Pound yen to the upside. Uh, pound yen. It just keeps going up the hill, which is good. I'm in it. So. Keeps going up the hill. We'll just take it. All right. Anybody in pound yen besides me? Remember, you can uh, you always trade fundies with entry orders. That means if you like the trade and you like it, you can put it in before the fundy, uh, which is what I did. I like this pound yen. I had a big opportunity up here, as I can see it. But you know, it had already hit the one thousand and pulled back, so I just put an entry order in there. That was it. Not hard. Right. All right. We'll see. Uh, 23 pips right now. Woohoo! Go, baby, go. Second trade is in. That's not doing well yet. And what did Scott say this morning? All right. So let's see why I had the entry order in. All right. Race to the top. There we go. So there it is right there. All right. Well before it happened, I gave you a heads up. You can see it's a really nice opportunity there. One, two, possible three positions in there, as you can see. All right. Start looking at it. In start looking at the market in terms of where are the positions. Can I see that wide open space? Yeah, that's an opportunity. Can I see that one? Yeah, that's an opportunity. Can I see that one? Yeah, that's an opportunity. All right. What if it pulls back down here? Wow, that's an even better opportunity. See that? So looking for that kind of structure where you can go, oh, man, big wide open spaces. doesn't have to be very far to the target as long as there's nothing in there. All right. And there's nothing in there except for this fib, and that's where you move your stop. you got to have the fib so you know where to move your stop. So there it is. And what did it do? There's what it did. So there we go. We're almost to target now. Right. So everybody was heads up on it this morning. We'll see if they get it. All right, I'm at a significant top, so I just moved my stop. As you can see, do I, I still have room to the target right there, but what should I do based on this over here? Based on that, should I move my stop and protect this? What do you think? What's the answer? What does the chart tell you to do? Chart says move your stop. Move your stop. So where's my stop? Right below the 1270 right here, right there. Uh, so actually, I need to adjust that because I don't have, so whatever that is right there is where I need to adjust it to. So probably right in here, uh, about 191.23. So let me go do that. 121.23, all right? So that I'm risking that for that right there. That's what I want. I'm willing, I'm willing to do that, all right? Why'd you just take it off? Well, because I'm going to leave almost 30 pips on the table if I do that. I got three positions in. Why would I want to do that? That's, not, that's 90 pips. And you got two-thirds of the trades under your belt already. Wow. I got stops moved, so I can't lose. Should I hold? Yeah, you should hold. Well, yeah, but why don't you just put it in the bank? Well, because I have a large candle here. That tells me there's lots of participants here. Don't give up. Now, if all of a sudden it starts, uh, the next candle opens and the next candle opens and they start looking like this, right, like that, instead of like that, right? if they look like this over here, then what I'll do is I will take off the two-thirds position here, 
right there. I'll put that in the bank and I'll hold trade one for there right? with a stop, you know, right about here, right there. Risking one to one in case I get that extra. Right? So it's you read the charts and let the charts lead you. Right? Now, I can't, can I jump in this trade? No, I'm at the top. I'm in an unsustainable move. All of our moves, all of our trades are unsustainable trends, trades in a sustainable move. All right. GJ hit his target. Oh, I gotta move my stop. All right, we got a stop move, holding on. There it is. Pretty nice when it goes, does exactly what you say it's going to do. Yeah, I'm going up here. That's what I'm doing. Well, Scott, how did you know that this morning? I, it, the, I didn't know that. The chart told me that. All right. So what does the chart say? The chart said, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go up to there. All right. We've got a break in, break hook and go. We already took out the 1,000 to the pip. All right. So that was what's left. There's about 65 pips there. I'm currently at 50, 56. So I got all but four of them. <laughs> so not too shabby. All right. You see, there's a top here. That means there'll be a top here. So that's why I got to move my stop because I know I'm, I'm at a, I'm not only at the ATR target, I'm at a top. Well, why don't you take it off? Because I could break up through here and go to 2.618 with three positions in there going 45 more pips. That'll make me another 130 pips. Do, am I interested in that? I'm interested in that. Do I want to, do I want to, why do they call it a limit? This thing can go 500 pips, but limit mine to six. That's what you're saying when you put a limit on. Limit this trade for me to only this. That's why it's called a limit. And a stop is called a stop. Is if it goes against me, stop me here. Stop the loss. Stop the bleeding. Surprise, surprise. Got a wick, see? So that tells me, hey, it might be over. And that, this is what I planned. See, I'd already planned it to there. Now, confirmer says stay in. All right. So now I got a little candle here. If I get another little candle here down here in a 10 minute chart, it tells me, okay, take the two positions you got and put them that are, are uh, the last two positions, put them in the bank, hold trade one, which you got down here, hold trade one in case it breaks up here. That's what it tells you. All right. Now, one candle's not enough. All right. Another candle this size, I bank two. All right. So, how long do I got to wait for that? 10 minutes. I'll know what to do in 10 minutes. And you see, they're exiting. That's why we got a wick there. They know where that line is. They knew that all of them watched my blog this morning. You know, there are 35, 30, 35,000 people who watch me every day. What is that silly stuff? Not pretty trade. It's really pretty. I like it when they do that. There we go. There we go. What does the chart say? The chart says, it's a pretty good trade. Did you trade it? See, now, here's the best thing you can do. If, if today you did not trade the pound yen, but you saw it go right to target, you had a heads up on the blog, you go, okay, what could I do? How could I have traded this? Because I didn't trade it. And wh why didn't I trade it? And so you go back in time and start looking for the for the clues. The clue is we got a, uh, we got a flag pattern right here. Then you got a break hook and go right there. Then you easily went right to the ATR, uh, the uh, fib target and broke there. That's trade two up there, right there. Right. And trade one is down here, right there. Right. What did the chart say? Yep, yeah, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. So there we go. Finally got one to go to target in class. I'll get to do a video finally. Man, I haven't done a video in a long time. Right. But... You can always learn from a trade, even if you didn't trade it. You can always learn from the trade. <laughs> uh, gee, I wonder if Scott had the right fibs. You think Scott had the right fibs? And the right target? Did I have the right ones? Yeah. <laughs> so... 
Why is that important? Because when you start to see that the currencies are respecting your lines, that means that you have confirmation that you have the ability to find their lines.